Please excuse the interruption. Would all students please join us for the building of the community garden? Thank you. Community gardens, I think, are so symbolic of what we're trying to do here as an entire community. When we were looking for people to be a part of that, Barb was the first person to put her hand in the air and say that she would be a part of that because she is. She lives in this community. She lives and breathes downtown. She knows what this community needs. She knows what helps it thrive. And uh, she was an integral part in making that happen. Calling from Central School. I have a wonderful husband, Don Guest, who I've been married to for 39 years. We're going to be cele celebrating our 40th year in January. I have a son, Zachary. He is 29 and he lives with us at home. Uh, he went to a special class in Grand Erie. I have another son, Casey, who is 26 and lives in Toronto and is a musician. So Zach, what is it that your mom does? She's a secretary. Want some milk on your cereal, Zach? Sure. How are you good. doing today? I'm good. Good. Zachary, who is an absolute gift to our family. He's a joy to be around. He does have challenges. However, those challenges that he has, I can incorporate them into my job at Central School. Hey, Zach. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Good. Do you want to play a little DS together? Sure. You got to teach me about this because I don't really know. What's it called? Goosebumps Horrorland. I bet you you're better than me. I think, I'm, I <laughs> I think you are better than me on this. I've worked with the board for 14 years. I've been at Central School for 11 years. And the students and staff at this school absolutely make this school. Um, I enjoy every single day coming to school and look forward to working with them on a daily basis. She looks after every single person that walks into this building or is attached to this building. Most people can have their eyes open. Barb has her heart open and she feels sometimes what people need even before they're ready to vocalize it. Good morning, Central School. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Oh, Brock's sick today? Well, if there's anything we can do, you just let us know. Okay, take care, bye-bye. I can relate to parents because I do have a son that has challenges, so I can definitely relate to them and help them through their problems. What are you going to do this summer? Are you going anywhere this summer or doing anything, Brock? I'm going to go visit the Ripley's Aquarium. What's at the Ripley's Aquarium? It's where like, the sharks and stingrays and stuff. Sharks and stingrays, that's awesome. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better now? Good, I'm glad. What about you, Laura? How are you doing? What's going on with the snack program this week? My job here goes way beyond what most people would think. I'm an ear for parents to listen to. I have the empathy. I understand them. Hi, Miss Toe. Hi, Mrs. Gass. Can I see you for a moment? Yes, how are you? I'm good, how about you? Good, I love it when you visit kindergarten. I love visiting kindergarten. <laughs> Is Brooklyn here? Um, yeah, do you need her? Yes, please, your mom wants you to go home. I'll go get her. Thank you. I would love everyone to see at the end of the day. At the end of the day, all the staff, comes down to my office and we talk and we debrief and we laugh and we do all kinds of things in there and it's just su such a happy atmosphere at the end of the day. Barb is by far the most caring, welcoming and supportive individual that I've really encountered in my entire life and working in schools every single day we know that one of the key things for success has to be care. And that care has to be felt immediately when you walk into any building in this board. And when you walk into Central and the first person you see is Barb, doesn't matter who walks in this building, you feel that love, you feel that care, you feel that support from, from the very first moment you walk in here. She's our mother, she's our counselor, she's our friend, she's our support system. She's really everything to us.